Something we're always getting asked as crapologists is how do I tie my dog poo bag so I don't get all the smell and all the wafts coming out of the dog poo bag after it's used and sort of tied up and ready to go. So in this quick video, I'll show you the oh crap way and the crapologist way of tying a dog poo bag so the smells don't escape. So first thing is, obviously you might be pulling it out of a holder or get your next bag. Of course, open it up. And um, for this demonstration, I'll need I don't have a spare dog poo on my desk, unfortunately. <laughs> Luckily, they're outside. Um, so, we got my dog, dog poo example here. And funnily enough, our bags make good, good poos as well. Put your hand in as you would expect. So, pull it through. Now, lots of people will tie it like shoelaces. So, they'll tie the two ends, but the problem is you then leave a hole just up here and that's where all the smell comes out. So instead of tying it sh like shoelaces, you want to tie it like a balloon. So after you've got your deposit in there from your fairy friend, is just pull the top half up like a balloon, pull some of the air out, and then just flip it over and you are ready to rock. No smells, nothing's coming out of there, and you're good to go. So that's how to tie a dog poo bag without all the smells escaping.